Hello everyone and welcome to another edition of your daily dose of reptile news. set out a warning about apparently dogs are chewing on dead iguanas that died as a result of the cold weather in Florida and it is causing in a lot of these cases what they believe is botulism in these dogs. They say that um, it primarily begins with paralysis in the hind legs and moves to the front legs sometimes moving to the diaphragm which results in the dogs needing a procedure to assist their breathing in which case at least two cases so far have been far too expensive for the dog owners to afford and the dogs were had to have been put to sleep. Our next story once again is about the large snake band where the headline reads snake lovers fear that transporting rules will hurt their hobby. There are several quotes in there from snake keep well mainly from snake breeders that um, they don't believe that uh, government interaction should affect their hobby. This <coughs> this reminds me of um, quite some time ago. I remember a large dispute to, between the um, the. NAR, the National Association of Rocketry, and the Bureau of Alcohol, Tobacco, and Firearms. Uh, the ATF wanted to regulate some of the, I believe it was some of the hybrid model rocket motors because of the explosive contents and something about, it, it's been a while, but something about them requiring special um, storage uh, facilities and, and the ease of getting these things and I, I, I think somewhere in there they were worried about how easy the explosive materials used inside the solid rocket motors were for people to get and they were worried about them used for the wrong purpose or something, I don't know. But it goes back to the same thing where um, they obviously stepped on some people's feet and they move to regulate model rocketry which is proven beyond reasonable doubt in court that model rocketry had at that time I'm sure it still does a better safety record than golf so um, there there was no reason to concern and just more regulatory measures however <coughs> the National Association of Rocketry as well as many other people fought this battle in court. I, I, I'm not, has anybody, to the best of my knowledge, nobody's brought any lawsuits towards the government for trying to ban this. Um, to the best of my knowledge, nobody has yet made any sort of um, standardized procedure to stop it in the future. I know one person mentioned that most of his snakes come from outside his state and a good share of the ones he sells go outside of his state. Um, I almost guarantee he probably doesn't even make sure the person buying this is 18. I mean, as long as they've got a mailing address and a valid credit card number, I'm sure, like a good share of other breeders, he just doesn't care. Um, that was that was it. That was all the news for today in there. I've, uh, as many times as I've commented on my feelings and what I think should be done about this large snake man, I have yet to receive a response, whether it be a video response, comment, email, phone call, a letter in the mail. I've yet to receive any response from anybody on, on what they feel about it. And... Uh, you know, I challenge everybody to, uh, you know, step up and, and, and make a response. If 
if we can't just sit down and not say anything about it, so um, you know, obviously you can respond to this video via a video response or a text comment um, if you feel you have a point to prove away from the rest of the public or whatever. It's P.O. Box 644, I own California, 95640. Send it there. I'll read every single one of them. Um, the phone number, I believe the phone number is on the contact portion of the website. Or we have that big group of forums there. You could always go there and state your piece. Um, anyway, that's all the news. The uh, links are in the sidebar. Um, be good to each other. And don't eat any dead iguanas in Florida or anywhere else for that matter. Thank you.